Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Never Song. Uh, this is a action platformer slash emotional driven puzzle game. I've heard it described as uh, Night in the Woods meets Hollow Knight. That, that, that sentence is equal parts compelling and a little bit scary to me, but let's get started. It came out this week. Maybe even yesterday, now that I think about it. I did receive a code from the developer, thank you for that. And this is, uh, $15 USD on sale for $12.75 USD for its opening week sale for once I actually have the price metadata. Never Song is a moving story of loss and hope. It contains themes including traumatic death that some may find emotionally upsetting. To those who suffer, know that you are not alone. Please ask for help. You know, I, I have a tendency to make quips and, uh... And, uh, perhaps witticisms, let's not do that here, uh, at least right off the top. It's an important Once message. Once upon a time, there was a boy, an orphan, without a single toy. His name was Pete. His world was grey. Until he found a friend. Team Unite. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano. She a small piano? Sharps and flats to middle I'd C. hate to see a normal size piano. To play and read. But on one fateful evening, when looking for some place to play, Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. That classic and song and dance that happens all the time. A of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell. The end. Sorry, I, again, I, if I go ten seconds without making a joke, I start to feel uncomfortable. Yo, this looks gorgeous. Please don't be an escape room game. We, we've had enough. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on in the S room. I bet S room uh, is actually a door that means saving. Okay. Can you? Can you do it? Can you get on top of the mantle? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. So I have to admit, this will probably be the last video I record with this controller. It's on its last legs and, and loses inputs uh, constantly. Don't hold it against the game. A plus A. Ah, okay, so if you land on that twice, you activate it twice, and you get sent down to the next floor. Check voicemail. Hey, this is a summons from the Canadian government of courts. You must appear in front of a local magistrate. That's a joke about spam voicemails, in case you're curious. Hey, it's me. What's M? A game by Thomas Brush and Serenity Forge. You getting many of those, uh... Ooh. Spam voicemails? L does not activate. IE does not activate. I will say, I was getting like two a day throughout all of 2019. It's a little lower now. Dr. Smile. A portrait. The word smile is scratched into the parchment. Dr. Smile. One of those doctor names that's both great for uh, a horror villain, but also for a dentist. Hello. I, I see you there holding that knife. Alright, a sense of unease. Time is moving backwards. Um, we got like a little Silent Hill sort of stuff going on here. Fleshy walls. Straight out of get him to the Greek. Sorry, those are furry walls. My mistake. It's been a while. Don't chase me. I was... Many times I start playing a game. I don't realize it's a horror game until I get a little bit later in. Believe the... 
Check voicemail. Hey, it's me. All right. I don't know if I should keep jumping on that stuff. I'm, I'm worried that it's going to jump on me one of these days. Uh-oh. All right, things are getting increasingly disconcerting as we travel onwards. I imagine this is taking place in the dream world here, or the coma world, I should say. It's Dr. Smile again. Okay, take, take me down, please. Now time is, is moving backwards at a, an unbelievable pace. You know what I'm realizing now? S definitely does not stand for save. <laughs> it's t those are the letters in the word smile. <laughs> uh, that's uh, I'm I'm a little embarrassed. I'll admit I'm a little embarrassed by that one. Took us too long to figure it out. Or alternatively, it could be Doctor Miles. Maybe just uh, an unhappy coincidence for Doctor Miles that he keeps uh, he keeps being implicated in this scheme. Lie. Still can't activate it. Alright. It's one of those times where I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm missing out on a puzzle, or if they're just like, hey, enjoy your increasing uh, amount of madness as you descend further into the dream world here. Okay. Every single window. Is now full of a bald version of me. Wait, a bald version of me? A version of me holding a knife. Let me guess. It's me. I feel like it, it's doing a great job of capturing that uh, dreamlike essence right now. Of me not understanding uh, how to get out of this labyrinth. Dr. Smile, do you have any intel for me? The word smile... You, uh, okay, can I tell you something? I've only just now realized this is a puzzle. I am a fool. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna activate the S. I actually thought this was a cinematic scene for a bit. We're gonna spell out the word smile. Now that we know what we're interfacing with, we, we can figure this one out. The developer of their watching right now is like, Oh my god, we have to put in a toddler mode for this, for this fully grown man. Perhaps even a little overgrown. Okay. I. L. E. My god, the man has done it. Oh! Hello. You ever notice that if you rearrange the letters in the word smile, you can also spell Miss Lie? Really makes you think, huh? Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, it's a grandfather clock's pendulum. We've made it through to the credit drop. I gotta admit, a real sense of uh, cinematicness here. I don't know, I feel like I'm in the lighthouse. Just, just uneasy. Now, I haven't seen the lighthouse yet, but I imagine that's what it would be like. Okay, if we, is this. Signifying we have made it out of our coma. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Beautiful. I wonder if that uh, is either puzzle solving or if it uh, if it refills our health or something. I'm going to just do uh, ya, beb. Okay, moving on. Take me out. A cozy fireplace. Ah, I'm very familiar with this mechanic. Booty Bum Pals, 1952. Uh, <laughs> little brother spam in chat, please. Your dusty mattress. Ren's parents are so nice. Sleeping here beats that old orphanage caught any day. I'm sorry! But also, we got bigger fish to fry. <clears throat> I actually thought, I wonder, I bet we can in the future use that to just do like a super jump. Redwind Village. I, I'm genuinely stunned by how nice and distinct this game looks. Something's written on the door in crayon. This hotel is now the property of the exclusive Booty Bum Gang. 
It's now called Booty Bum Clubhouse, and you can suck a big one. Punky. All right, I didn't realize it was like that. 1002, 1003. Oh, crap, not another interruption. I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion, Pete. You got a long way to go. You're less than, um, well, you're just over one millionth of the way there. Myself, I need to jump to a billion, 550. It will make me feel amazing. So, can I help you? Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I keep questioning. What did I do? Throw a Steely Dan concert? I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. They haven't been back since. It's all right, buddy. All right. After I finish. Let me out of here. It's locked with some kind of gemstone padlock. It's locked with some kind of gemstone padlock. Let me guess, it's locked with some kind of gemstone padlock. So I think we need to go to the asylum, but we'll probably need to do something else first. A message is scribbled on the mirror. CGC GB. Remember our song, Pete. Ren, how did this get here? CGB CB. CGC GB. CGC GB. That's... I saw him at CG... CBGB. Everyone thought I was crazy. Hello, sir. I can't speak to you. Okay. I'm glad they put it in your songbook because I'm just going to level with you. I think I've already forgotten it. <laughs> CG. C. G. C. B. C. G. C. B. C. Hold on. If I can remember it, you got to like the video. That's just, it's, it's written in stone. Oh. That was, uh, uh, that was not me. I was trying to... Don't worry about it. Okay, C. G. B. C. G. C. B. G. C. B. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. Songbook, please. Songbook. C. G. C. G. B. Oh! Red Wind Slugger. Ren's vintage baseball bat with a cracking leather grip. This thing aches for a good whacking. This game's got, um, it's got quite the, the tone to its writing, huh? This thing needs a good whacking. Um, big booty club. You can suck on a big one, etc., etc. Take me out of here. Let's go left. Everyone's always going to the right. Nobody goes to the left. Now that we got this, maybe we can start cracking some heads. Is this a puzzle? Or is it just... Is it just pleasant to interact with? <clears throat> okay, give it one sec. Get it. Get it. Get it. Nope. Does not appear so. Although they are making noise. So maybe... Maybe we need a double jump to get over here? I'm not sure, honestly. Is that we... Cannot double jump. I don't know if we can make it there yet. I'm, I'm assuming there's like some Metroidvania style elements going on here. Maybe if you hit it in a different order. I bet you've got to light all four lamps, but I just don't think we're, we're capable of doing that yet. Keep moving me. I, I definitely get the Night in the Woods vibe, even though I, I honestly have only played Night of the Woods... Uh, as a, uh, a a demo at GDC, like three years before it actually came out. Um, what if you smash these? I also it kind of reminds me of uh, of Wander Song. Like the start of this, it, it feels Wander Songy, but obviously a little bit less. Um, I don't want to call it less wholesome, but I think you know what I mean. Like there there's more of a macabre sort of like Tim Burton before the Johnny Depp era uh, sort of vibe going on here. Okay, so we've been in the barbershop. Can we just climb? Oh, we can climb this thing. Okay, what do you got going on? It's locked from the inside. Of course. What were you thinking? It's locked from the inside. Hey. hey. Yo, it's Chad. He loves sports. Honestly, you can tell by his hat. You're coma, bro. Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. Don't worry. Nobody's judging. Why is this the start of, uh... The, the sweater song by like Weezer. Nickname? We all call her the slug. Okay, bye. 
we're just aching for a double jump right now. There's so much of this map that would be accessible to us. Hey man, you fell into a coma! Oh no, not me. It's locked from the inside. Let me out, please. Oh, anytime you get a loading screen, we're leaving a hub and going to a live fire exercise. Redwind Field. I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. Uh, you are not a bird. I just saw Ren. Yeah. A man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much. Okay. Quick, use that bat. I don't trust you. I think I think you have tricked me. A cozy fireplace, save game. I think I have been I have been tricked by a nymph. A heart fizzle. If you collect a hundred of these, you'll get another heart. What's your deal? Parkour. Parkour. Up here, Pete. Up here, Pete. It is I, the mighty parkour ninja. Come boy, sir. Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the Spiderian sewer. He was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Not sure if that's a problem. I would say that's a problem, parkour expert. Honest, but well, I already. I just kidding. Um. Oh wait, 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 wait. Ren was a parkour legend. Is she gonna give me the Gumboisa grips? She might have another pair somewhere in her house. Okay, so maybe we go back to the hub world. Um, or we go, we go back to her house to get like the, uh, the Chozo statues from Super Metroid so we can get the abilities required to level up. Looks like a coma card. These things are all the rage in Redwind. There's a ton of them hiding all over the place. Be sure to collect and equip to change your outfit. Can I can I give you my pet theory for the game right now? Before we talk to this guy? I bet we're in a double layered coma. I bet the first time we woke up from the coma was waking up from the second layer. Now we think we're in the real world, but actually we're in the first layer of the coma. And then when we get further into the game, and I'm not trying to spoil anything because I don't know if this is true, it's just my pet theory to make myself seem smart with no consequences. When we elevate back to the waking world, we realize that this was just a metaphor for our actual real life, which hey, looks Pukes, more mundane, but perhaps equally tragic. Isn't it obvious, Puke? I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. Uh, it's called uh, eating too much sodium. I'm right there with you. My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. For just <laughs> such occasions. snatched it right out of my pocket. All right. I'm on my way. I will get you your emergency popping needle. Uh, maybe don't smash this beehive. What, what happens if you hit it? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, so we can bounce. The bounce is not really doing too much for us yet, though. We gotta figure out what to do with those as well. I wonder if those are what we use the glove for. That was just, Honestly, don't speak to me about the damage I took there. I'm embarrassed enough as is. So I, I totally get the Hollow Knight vibe, too. For sure. I, I understand it right off the bat. Night in the Woods for the kind of, like, um... Again, I, th I think the Tim Burton comparison makes a lot of sense. You know, it's a little macabre, but also, like, bizarrely sort of wholesome. Ren's, Ren's favorite spot. But also, um, you know, you're, you're just making your way through the village here and, and having a good time meeting these absurd characters who are, like, you know, a little skeletal, but simultaneously also, uh, you know, good friends in some situations. Um, and then, obviously, Hollow Knight is the, the action platformer vibe. I should go and find him some help, but I'm too busy dancing. It's I love your dance moves, Punky. I'm so proud of myself for turning another age. I'm finally old enough to start learning how to math and how to science. I'm now, proud of you, brother. Wanna hear the real reason I'm dancing? Do I? Well, a sneaky spider came up and whispered in my ear. He said, Dr. Smile's gonna eat your thighs. <laughs> All right, well, see you later, Punky. I thought you were cool and, like I said, a little bit wholesome even. Clearly, that is not the case. <laughs> Clearly, I have been lied to. Hold on. I'm wondering if I can... No, you can't walk under here. Um... Hold on. Hold the front door here. Do you think it's possible to make this jump and land on the pinwheel side? I don't think so. I'm thinking you need some kind of aerial dash for that. I bet you, like, grip this thing and then uh, swing on it and it lets you go! Oh, I mean, there might be a chance. 
I know this probably isn't how you're supposed to do it, but yeah, games, uh, they're about discoverability. They're about creativity. All right, I'm going to assume that that's not the way you do it, but I bet that there's a speedrunning sequence break in there somewhere. Pete, check it out in the tree. Grab it, bird. Yo, let's go. My god. Why didn't you think of that, dummy? Take me back, please. Take me back. Take me back to the guy who called me a puke fart. I'm here to give him my help, because I have no self-respect. You know you're gonna fall straight down here, though, right? L little brother spam in chat. I told you. I told you it was coming. The Spidarian Sewer. You know what the other vibe here is? It's very Willow Willy Wonka esque. Whoa! <laughs> I w would not recommend. Um, take me back down, please. Can we not get through this? Hmm. Or, you know, you could just walk off of it. You could just walk off of it. Okay. Fair enough. I thought that was too easy. To be honest, I didn't really want to rescue that guy anyway. He's kind of rude to me. What do you do? You're a jumper? Okay. You're, you're an Isaac-based enemy. And uh, even still, I can't dodge you. Or maybe that's why I can't dodge you. I really need that heart. Oh, come on. Don't kill me. I do appreciate, honestly, like... Yes, I'm playing like like pure garbage. That much is is completely undeniable. Um, but it's like uh, mechanically, in terms of its difficulty, it seems extremely forgiving so far. Which to me says um, you're trying to create a situation where like you know the themes and the story and the atmosphere of the game are what really matters, instead of uh, you know are you a, a pro enough gamer to actually like complete this stuff? So I do uh, I appreciate that honestly. This doesn't hurt? Okay. Hmm. I'm into the vibe this game's got going on. It's got a little bit of like a... A lo-fi Ori in the Blind Forest. Again, I, I can't stress enough. Meets Willy Wonka slash Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> yes, I would love to interact with this. I don't know, maybe we're not supposed to be here until we get a double jump or the climbing gloves. Because I, uh... As of right now, I don't, I don't appear to have the... The necessary tools. What do you think this means? Go left once? Oh! It's just open now. I guess we were in like a challenge room. Do we want to go up? Do we want to go down? I don't know about that one. Maybe that's just blocking the goo for us. You think those are Kickstarter backers? I know this was a Kickstarter project. Oh, Preston's lab. Pete, welcome to my state-of-the-art research facility. That's an IKEA desk and a the mocha pot. Friend is where I'll crack the case to the missing adults and our poor friend Red. There's no question science can't answer. Although I have to admit, all I have are questions. Well, that's the that's the nature of science. You can't be upset about that. There's a giant centipede downstairs, and she only seems to respond to smell. Good start. Right. There's some weird man sneaking around Redwind and beyond. I even snapped a photo of him on the water tower in the marsh. Yes, yes. All of these facts are definitely strange. Last. My mind can only fathom the rich rewards of writing my thesis to such bewildering questions. We get it. You got a thesaurus for I Christmas. Nothing a day's reading and research. Okay. Thank you, Preston. I appreciate it. Oh! Yo, he's T-posing. Dr. Smile and a birdcage. Preston's, Preston's drawn, drawn a diagram in chalk on its roots. Scent a spider. <laughs> Length three miles, age one week. Properties, deaf, blind, and sleepy. It's possible she was heavily sedated. I know they have voice work, but I like to read as well. Well, I think that's going to do it for uh, Northern Lion Tries Never Song. We played just enough to kind of whet the appetite and get a little bit of interest peaked. 
Very, like, when I went into the game, I'll admit, sometimes when I play action platformers on Steam, I have, like, this, um, I don't want to call it a bias, but I've played some, you know, that are masterful. You know, like, Limbo, for example, is an easy one, or Inside is another, uh, another good one. Hollow Knight's another good one, even though occasionally I, I will make a joke at Hollow Knight's expense. It's not at the game's expense, it's really at the community's expense more than anything else. Um, because I love punching down. However, sometimes, uh, it's a little bit more like one note, like, hey, here's one mechanic that we want you to, like, iterate upon as time goes on. You can, you know, uh, you're a ball, so the physics don't work properly. You can rewind time. You can, you know, you have a gun that shoots water, you gotta use that to do some fluid dynamic stuff. This is a little bit more of a complete, like, cinematic narrative adventure, which I, I appreciate a lot. For now, you can go check out Never Song for Yourself on Steam. I will link it in the video description below. If you're into games like Ori, I think that this would be uh, one that's right up your alley. Apart from that, click the like button. If you watched all 25 minutes and 49 seconds up to this point, I'm going to assume you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. It's the single best way you can help a content creator out on YouTube, especially if you're already subscribed to them. It sends a message to YouTube. This is good content. Show me more like it so you get better videos in your feed and show more people it so the content creator can help to grow a thriving community. So if you enjoyed the episode, please do click the like button. I'll be in the comments seeing what you think about the game. Thanks to the developer for the code again, and I'll see you next time. See ya!